When you hear me share publicly that you can eat food that's subsidized from a food bank or you can eat fast food uh, and still get all these amazing results, please understand that I'm sharing that information because I'm meeting certain people where they are. Because there does come a time where as you reduce your waistline, the quality of the ingredients that you consume become important. But we also know that for the average person that weighs 300 pounds, when they lose, right, or drop 10% of their total body weight, so 30 pounds for someone is 300 pounds, they're gonna see an upgrade in things like cholesterol, they're likely to see an upgrade in blood pressure. Okay, we know that to be true. However, the time will come where weight loss is not the primary focus and wellness becomes the primary focus. And so within Diet Free Life, we touch on that big time. We teach you the difference between high fructose corn syrup and evaporated cane sugar. We teach you the difference between flowers that are bleached and flowers that are unbleached. So when it comes to the quality of food, that's a big part of everything that we do. Now, all that being said, I had created a proprietary formula that takes a food based on seven different thoughts, right, or ideals, and determines whether or not a food is a protein, a fast carb, a slow carb, a condiment, <laughs> and a fat. So you have the five spokes that make up a meal, right? So your proteins, for the most part, is anything when it comes to grams that is highest in protein compared to fats and carbohydrates. So if you looked at chicken, that's gonna be highest in protein. Same as turkey, same as tofu. But if we looked at, say, yogurt, then it starts to change. So Greek yogurt, for instance, most Greek yogurt is considered a protein because it's highest in protein grams than it is fats and carbs. But when they have a Greek yogurt, right, and this is why we advocate becoming a label detective, when you look at Greek yogurt that has, say, a sweetener like vanilla, like vanilla flavor, then you'll notice that it's a little higher in carbs compared to protein. Therefore, it is now considered a fast carb. So through our proprietary formula, we've made this very easy for you. On our website, at the very top of the site and throughout the site, you will see something that says food search. You type in the food that you wanna learn about. You want to discover whether or not it's a fast carb, it's a slow carb, it's a condiment, it's a fat, it's a protein. You put in the food and then instantly, we will actually come right back to you and tell you if it's a fast carb, a slow carb, a protein, a fat, a condiment, and we'll give you the recommended serving amount that you would consume when you make that meal so that you maximize fat loss and maximize overall health. So you tell us the food that you want to know about, we'll give you the answer. If the food does not come up in our search, then we have a form right there. You just type in what the food is, it comes into our team, we run it through this formula, and then we come right back, we let you know, we add it to our database, and now anyone who brings up that food in the search will then discover and learn whether or not it's a protein, a fast carb, a slow carb, a condiment, or a fat, and we will give them the recommended serving amount so that when they make their fat burning meal, they know that they're eating the foods in the right way so that they're not adding inches to their waistline, but instead staying where they wanna be or reducing their waistline. So when it comes to fast carbs and slow carbs and condiments and this whole fat burning meal concept, it's all right here at Diet Free Life. We are the base, the root. This is ground floor right here. Anyone else that's talking about it, they have some of the information, but they don't have all of the information because we have the proprietary formula that determines whether or not, for the last time, let me say it, a food is a protein, a fast carb, a slow carb, a condiment, or a fat. Many people, because of the glycemic index, think that carrots are a fast carb because they heard that carrots are high in sugar. Well, carrots are slow carb. Kale, for instance, most people would say is a slow carb. And I would come right back and say, it is a slow carb. <laughs> because in another part of making a fat burning meal, we have all you can eat when you make a meal. See, you make your meal and then you have that category of all you can eat as part of that meal. Lettuce, for instance, this raw, would be all you can eat. 
Now, spinach, same thing as raw and eat as much of it as you want. So if you made a fat burning meal, but then you decide to have a side salad that was all spinach and it's raw spinach, then eat it. That would be a fat burning meal. However, if you cook that spinach, it goes from being an eat all you want to a slow carb. So depending on how you consume the food or cook the food, it could change the chemistry of what the food is. So when I look at dried fruit, say bananas or raisins, they're fast carbs. If you looked at dried apricots, they're a fast carb. But if you ate the apricot in its original state, it's a slow carb. Now I'm not sharing all this to be confusing. What I'm saying is, and what I'm inviting you to do is, search it on our website so that you know without question whether or not it's a protein, a fast carb, a slow carb, a condiment, or a fat. Again, I'm Robert Ferguson, the CEO of Diet Free Life. This is all available to you at no cost. So take advantage of our search engine so you can maximize your waistline.